So this is a little bit more advanced, but I'm going to show you how you can link buttons to different pages for students. And I'm also going to show you how you can organize your navigation bar on the left for students. So some things you don't want your students to see, and so you can click settings to get there. And you want to go across the top where it says navigation and drag and drop items to reorder them in the course navigation. So this is the order that your students will see everything in and you can move the three dots. So there might be some things that you just don't want your students to see at all. So say you didn't want your students to see announcements. So you could click the three dots and you could click disable and that would disable the announcements button or link for your students and they would not be able to click it. You can also just drag it down here to the bottom. Um, the really important thing is, is after you've dragged them and everything, you want to make sure that you scroll down and click the word save. Otherwise it won't save your um, options. So. That is how you can change the navigation for students. You can also kind of go in here a little bit if you want to. Um, something that you might want to do is to come down and click more options. And something that is nice is if you need to make an announcement to your students and you really want them to hopefully see it, is that you can click the button that says show recent announcements and you can have it show the top three announcements or the top three latest announcements that you've had. And then there are some other kinds of options in here if you want. So like I disabled comments on my announcements and then you just update course details when you're finished with all of that. So that is a way that you can change the navigation here on the left. So we're gonna go back home and I've made some other videos about how to create assignments and um, creating pages. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to kind of show you how, if you didn't want students to see modules or anything like that, well, how do you get them there to their classwork? So you're going to be adding some links to some buttons. So clicking the edit button. And you can kind of drag this little dude down here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, usually to organize buttons and pictures, most people will suggest that you use a table just so everything lines up correctly. But in order to add links to buttons or pictures that you have made, you want to click on the picture. And so we'll do a course link. So I'll turn off the link option that I already have. And then I'm just going to click the chain link again and I'm gonna choose course links, which means that I'm going to link it to a page within my Canvas course. So I'm gonna go back and find my About Me page. You also wanna make sure that the page that you link to is published so they'll be able to find it. And so now that is linked back. For your Live Class button, you would link it to a Zoom session or a Google Meet session. And that's how that works. So for those of you who might not want your students to see modules and maybe you want to try to organize your class a little bit, if that is possible for you and your Canvas course. Um, so I have a button made for current unit and units of study. If you have the Canvas extension from CMS on your Chrome, you can click that little blue circular button and it'll give you a bunch of different choices. And CMS has been super awesome and has made some buttons for us. And all you have to do is just grab a hold of the button and bring it over into your Canvas page and it will um, make a button for you. So that's pretty cool. So after you put your buttons in again, you're going to want to link it. So I'll already show you. So we'll remove link again and then it is course links again, and so you'll go through and you'll find the page. I've already made a page for all of my units, so I have to scroll down and find it. Got a lot of things here now. Let's see. 
seventh grade social studies units, but that's my all of my units. My current unit is unit zero that the kids are working on. There it is. So I'll click that back again. And then after you've linked everything, you just click the one that says save. Okay, so now let's navigate to current unit. So this is how I have my unit page kind of set up. Again, I've used some of the buttons provided by the district. I dated it for my kids and gave them a lesson title and then the learning goals. And then for my students, they are going to click here where it says click for lesson. So again, how do you do that? Clicking edit. You scroll down to the bottom and you highlight the text that you want and you again click remove link and I'm just going to put the link back so again this is course links so now I'm gonna find the first page of the section of the module that the kids are working in and so what we are doing is we are going to do a classroom contract pair deck. So I'm going to link that for my kids. Click the word save. And now it's there. So if I click it, it's going to take me to the first page of that day's lesson. And if you already watched my modules, you saw me kind of make modules and again I said that I don't allow my kids to see the modules that's why the I is crossed out but if I click on the word modules and I scroll all the way down to unit zero you can see where that first page of lesson five is the classroom contract pair deck and so I linked that to that button in Canvas so again um, there's a multitude of ways that you can have kids do their work. Some teachers just make calendars on a page and they link their students that way. Some people, some teachers just have the modules shown to their kids and they just move through the modules because the requirements have been set. And then the other way to do it is that you can make buttons or get pictures or you can just link text. So again, that's what I have done for my kids. I do tell my students that if they want to see their assignments, they can click the word assignments and it will show up for them. I do have that visible to them. So that is just, again, another couple of ways to set up your Canvas page.